Supply Chain Management, Transportation Transportation refers to the movement of product from one location to another as it makes its way from the beginning of supply chain to the customers. Central Place Theory is a geographical concept that explains the development patterns, number, size, and locations of human settlements such as cities and towns around the world. Central Place Theory can be explained from two different perspectives. Producer's Perspective Customer's Perspective Producer's Perspective producer will gravitate toward the trading area where he can find a large number of potential customers with a higher disposable income. Customer's perspective consumer will be drawn into the trading area where he can find particular desired products. Transportation regulations are Economic regulation and Non-economic regulation Economic regulation are They govern the entry of new firm Exit from of transportation business. Rules of freight rate. Non-economic regulation. Public safety, environmental issue by mandating seat belt usages, prohibiting smoking on airplanes. Those transportations regulation are developed, promoted, administered and enforced by many different agencies. Carrier management. Set appropriate prices for transportation services. Meet the customer's service needs. Carrier management decisions are Selection Marketing Capacity planning Network design Pricing Financing Carrier choice based on shipment size Surface transportation is the movement of people or goods by road, train, or ship rather than by plane. To survive in the competitive market the truck industry has to deal with these chow legis. Labor issues SKU proliferation Rising energy cost Load planning Uneven order volume Dynamic pricing Water carriers Drawbacks of water carriers are Involvement of federal, state and government in promoting and subsidizing. Dependency on locks and dams. Dredging materials from inland waterways. Lack of investment in water infrastructure. Lack of government funds leads to high cost. Types of services. Linear service. Charter service. Linear service are. Regular services between major ports. Unload imports Charter service are Vessels leased by importers Lower freight cost and control over scheduling Charter agreements Includes crew and equipment Air carrier Classification of air carriers are Air freight, cargo, carriers Air passenger carriers. Transportation documentation are A bill of lading, A carrier's certificate, Delivery receipts, Freight bills, Shipping manifests, Shipper's declaration for dangerous goods, Shipper's declaration for live animal. Transportation pricing is the expenses involved in moving products or assets to a different place, which are often passed on to consumers is called transportation pricing. Three ways of determining transportation pricing. Published tariff. Negotiated contracts. Open market arrangement. Revenue management is an approach that aims to maximize revenue streams or profits a given fixed but perishable resources through understanding of market dynamics. Revenue management is relevant to these situations. When there is a fixed amount of resources available for sale. When the resources to sell are very perishable. When the customers are willing to pay a different price for using the same resources. When the fixed cost is relatively high as compared to variable cost. Usefulness of revenue management are 
Uncover hidden demand. Understand customer trade-off between price and service. Increase revenue without sales promotions. Identifying lost revenue opportunity. Focus on profit growth. Transportation management system is a subset of supply chain management that deals with the planning, execution, and optimization of the physical movement of goods. Benefits of transportation management system are Cost savings Increase customer satisfaction Improve supply chain stability Warehouse efficiency New delivery capabilities Inventory reductions Increase customer services Legal forms of transportation are Private carriers Common carriers Contract carriers Exempt carriers